Hey, welcome to my channel. If you have watched my previous videos, you would know that I love using stamps in my journal spreads. In today's video, I have 6 stamp tips for journaling. So without further ado, let's get started. Tip number 1. Using the right amount of pressure. This sounds like a no-brainer, but using the right amount of force really helps to get the perfect stamp results. Smaller stamps don't require a lot of pressure, so a slight tap would give a clear print. As you can tell here, the results of the print didn't differ much when I used more pressure during the second time. If your ink is more watery, you might also risk having the ink bleed through the paper. Bigger stamps would require more effort and more pressure. If too little pressure was used, the print might become incomplete or too light. So always make sure to apply more pressure across the entire design to get a complete print. The second tip is how to get a clean edge during stamping. One trick is to wipe off the excess ink before stamping in your journal. I find that this works especially well for smaller stamps like this alphabet set, where I often get ink on the borders when inking. On the other hand, if the print turns out to be incomplete, you can simply use a pen of a similar colour and just fill in the blank areas or outline the design. Do not try to re-stamp because it's super hard to align the stamp perfectly on the previous print. And this is what might happen instead. Tip number 3. Aligning the stems. How I align stems is simply not to align them at all. This sounds kind of silly but I find it really tough to align letters to form a word with equal spacing and in a straight line. What I like to do is to stamp each letter at differing angles so that the word ends up looking more whimsical and lively. If there's a certain part of your stem that you don't want to show, you can simply cover that area with washi tape after inking to prevent that part from showing up on paper. This is my favourite hack to get the most out of the stems in my collection. Instead of buying many ink pads of different colours, which I'm guilty of, did you know that you can use brush pens as ink pads too? I've tried a few brands and these are the ones that worked pretty well with my stems. This hack is really money saving if you already have a large brush pen collection. You're gonna get a lot more color choices when using your stamps. The last tip is batch stamping, which means creating many copies of the same stamp in one sitting. This is super time saving as you won't have to spend time choosing a stamp, taking out your ink pad, and then cleaning it afterwards just for one stamp design. I'm batch stamping this floral stamp on craft paper and vellum paper. You can keep the stamp paper as it is. 
I like to tear them to size and keep them for later. This way when I'm journaling, I can just grab the pieces that I wish to use and glue them on immediately. I hope the video was useful and you now find that using stamps in your journal can be more efficient and creative. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.